here's the cinnamon bear. Well, Judy and Jimmy and the Cinnamon Bear were in a pretty pickle when we saw them last. They found the Crazy Quilt Dragon all right, but he'd been thrown into a short trance, as he called it, by the Wintergreen Witch, who made off with the Silver Star. So there was nothing to do but to try and find her. But what do you think? Nobody knew how to get out of the magic forest and back into the witch's house. Then Jimmy remembered the little whistle which Fifo, the gentle giant, had given him, with instructions to blow it three times if help was needed. But Jimmy couldn't blow it loud enough, so Crazy Quilt volunteered for the job and took such a deep breath that he swallowed it. And as Jimmy says... This is the limit. What'd you have to go and swallow the whistle for? Couldn't help it. <laughs> Slip. Oh, dear. Now we'll just have to walk and walk, and maybe we'll never be able to get out of this old forest. <laughs> What's the matter, Crazy Quilt? He's got the hiccups. <laughs> and every time he hiccups, it blows the whistle. Quick, Crazy Quilt. Do it again. <laughs> That's swell. You blew it three times. Good. Maybe Fifo will come to our rescue. Bless my stuffing. I can hear him now. <laughs> That's enough, Crazy Quilt. Fifo heard you. Can't stop. It just keeps... <gasps> Here I am, my little friends. Just as I said I'd be. <laughs> but my gracious, you don't have to blow the whistle so many times. We're not doing it on purpose, Fifo. The crazy quilt dragon's got it caught in his throat. And every time he hiccups, <gasps> it whistles. Well, well. <laughs> I'll fix that. Just a pat on the back. <laughs> there it is. Oh, what an ordeal. Why does everything happen to me? Because you're always sticking your crazy quilt nose in somebody else's business, that's why. So this is the crazy quilt dragon you were looking for. And did he give you back your silver star? No, he didn't, Fifo, because the winter green witch did something magic to him and made him bring it to her. Crazy quilt says she's a terrible old witch. Does she scare you, Fifo? It all depends on what color she is. Hmm, that's right. Didn't you say she changed colors, Crazy Quilt? Definitely. And you didn't believe me, Smarty. She changed from green to purple to red. Oh, that's bad. When she's all right, she stays green. But when she gets a notion to practice magic, she goes all sorts of colors. Well, no matter what color she gets, we've got to find her. Yes, and that's why we called for you, Fifo. We thought maybe you'd be real nice and take us back to the place where we came through the picture frame. We don't know which way to go. I'd be glad to, only I'm sorry to see you leave the magic forest. It's awful lonesome here. Maybe you can come back and see me again, huh? Willikers, I don't see how we can, Fifo. On account of we've got to get our star and get back home before Christmas. Oh, well, maybe someday you can. All right, everybody. I'll put the dragon on my left shoulder and the rest of you on my right. Up you go. Whee! We're way up in the air again. My, my, this is something new for me. My, you are a whopper of a giant, Fifo. Simply a whopper. Hold tight. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, 
pokes. End of the trip. What? So soon? Sure. FIFO's no slow poke. Only takes a few of his big steps to get you someplace in a hurry. All right, now. Down you go. Gee, we're right where we came in, too. I can see right through the trees into the wintergreen witch's house. Sure enough. There's the fireplace and all the pots in front of it. Well, my friends, I wish I were small enough to go through the picture frame with you, but that's impossible. So I'll just have to say goodbye and good luck. Goodbye, FIFO. We'll never, never forget you. You bet. And thanks a million. Goodbye. And I hope the witch stays green. Goodbye, Goodbye FIFO. Goodbye, Special Giant. All right, now, steal yourselves, everybody, and through the picture frame. Okay, Cinnamon Bear. Here I go. And me. And reluctantly, I. Hmm. The room is empty. Not a soul here. Splendid. Splendid. Oh, it's a witch, a witch, witch. witch. Oh. Right, my pretty dears, right. Thought I wasn't here, eh? <laughs> Hold my hand, Jimmy. Uh, excuse me, but I just remembered I left the water running in the bathtub. I'll see you later. Me too. Come on, children, out the door. It closed itself. Hurry, back through the picture frame. Oh, it's nothing but a flat painted picture now. <laughs> oh, trap doomed. This is the end. Jiminy Crickets, look at the witch. She's changing colors. <laughs> Green and blue and purple and red. Uh, sit down, my dainties. Sit down and make yourselves comfortable because you'll be here a long time. <laughs> a long, long time. <laughs> what are you going to do, Mrs. Witch? You'll find out. And don't call me Mrs. Witch. Please, Mrs. Wintergreen, give us our silver star and let us go. Yes, sir, please give it back. We've come an awful long ways to get it. <clears throat> and after all, madam, what does a wonderful sorceress with your great power want with a paltry Christmas tree ornament? Hmm? I want it for my magic forest. That's something I've never had before. I'm going to hang it in the sky over the black lake. Well, if we, if we can't have the star, would you mind if we just sort of moseyed along? <laughs> no, you don't. I have other plans, my pretties, other plans. Well, I bet you can't do anything to Judy and me, because we belong to the USA. And I bet you can't magic any American citizens, so there. Besides, we don't believe in witches anyhow. They're just to scare people on Halloween. So you don't believe the wintergreen witch can magic things? Eh? <laughs> I shall demonstrate. First, I open the door. Now, see how beautiful and clear it is outside. Indeed, and how I'd like to be outside. Now, I'll close the door. And mumbo, jumbo, hubba dubba. Now, I open the door again. Look! It's raining cats and dogs. <laughs> there, there. You've heard of it raining cats and dogs, haven't you? Y yes, Mrs. Wintergreen. Now you've not only heard, but seen it. Do you still think the Wintergreen witch can magic things? Oh, no, no. You're truly wonderful. But won't you please let us go? Yes, pretty please. We haven't done anything to you. <laughs> But I'm going to do something to you. Ooh. There are several things I need around the house or in the magic forest, and you pretties have come just at the right moment. <laughs> First, I think I'll change you twins into white mice. <laughs> oh, please don't. Not mice. I don't like them at all. And this crazy quilt dragon will look beautiful after I've changed him into a pin cushion. Oh, agony. And as for this funny little bear, he'll make a lovely doormat with welcome on his tummy. <laughs> Oh, me poor stuffings. Now be quiet while I prepare my magic. <laughs> Jimmy, if we only had something to make her forget about us and the silver star, have you got anything she might like? Gee, I don't think she'd like my knife. And my swell wristwatch is home in my bureau drawer. I've got it. Maybe she'd like my little looking glass. Mrs. Wintergreen? Yes, my pretty dear? I have something much nicer than the silver star for you, and it's ever so much shinier. 
Look. Ah! Take it away. Take it away. Don't you know witches can't stand to see their own faces? Take it away. Oh, what a break. <laughs> Keep on showing it to her, Judy. No, no, no. Take it away. I'll do anything you ask, anything. All right. First, you've got to let us go. And promise not to do anything to us after we leave. Oh, yes, 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 yes. But take that dreadful looking glass with you. And you've got to give us back our silver star. Oh, even that. Here. Oh, Jimmy, at last we've got it back. Open the door, witch, and make it snappy. <laughs> and foo for you, Mrs. Wintergreen. Come along, children. Isn't it swell, Judy? We've got the star and everything. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, but we can't stop to admire it now. we got to rush right down to the shore and get back across the root beer ocean. Come on, hurry, everybody. Do you think you can swim us all the way back, Crazy Quill? Absolutely. I'm plenty full of corks to manage it. Uh, climb aboard. I think I'd better carry the star. But suppose a wave washes it away or another whale swallows uh, it. Pardon the suggestion, but I've an ideal place for it. My hind pocket, the one under that big orange patch. It's waterproof and has a zipper. Okay, Crazy Quilt, unzip. With pleasure. And in it goes. Zip again. And safe and sound. And hold on, my friends, for it's cheerio and into the root beer ocean. made good time, Crazy Quilt. Here we are back on the Maybe Land mainland. I can hardly believe it. We're ever so grateful, Crazy Quilt. Oh, not at all. But now that we're all hunky-dory, I must ask you to excuse me while I sit down and rest a bit from my strenuous swim. Sure. You've got it coming to you, all right. Uh Uh-huh. I think this would be a lovely spot right here in the lee of this rock. There. Now I'll just lean back and... uh... Oh, oh, I fear I... Oh, my friend. Oh, I'm blushing red. I... Well, behold the star. Willikers, it's busted. In a dozen pieces. And that's what I call very, very bad luck. After all the perilous adventures our friends have been through in order to recapture their silver star, this is really a blow. A lost star is bad enough, but a broken one is terrible. Just the same, I'll be with you next time to see what they're going to do about it. (laughs) 